Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. I am Dr. Vikas, consultant orthopedic surgeon at Astra Ave Hospital. So today I want to discuss one topic which is very common among us that is knee pain in adults. So I'm not going to involve the knee pain in children or uh, in the elderly, just only knee pain in adults. So I want to discuss one of the most common topic. So one is chondromalacia patella, second one is bursitis, third one is gout and fourth one is rheumatoid arthritis. So first we'll talk about chondromalacia patella. So what the terminology means, chondromalacia patella. So the chondromalacia uh, translates to sick cartilage. So what is cartilage? Cartilage is nothing but it's a smooth lining of the uh, bones which form into the joint. So it helps in you know easy uh, movement of the joints without causing any wear and tear. The problem with the cartilage is once it is damaged, it cannot regrow. So chondromalacia is nothing but sick cartilage or a damaged cartilage and patella is a part of the knee joint that is a kneecap bone. It's a small bone which sits in front of the knee joint and it is a vital part of the knee joint. So this is a very common condition seen in the age group of 20 to 40 years. The problem with chondromalacia patella is there is no history of injury. The patients come with vague dull aching pain in both the knee joints. So there's something called movie theater sign that is when you sit for a long duration and try to walk it causes pain and stiffness and as you keep walking it gets better. So this is the most common uh, symptom for chondromalacia patella. Although it's a very dull aching and a low grade pain it persists and it tends to increase over the period of time. So when we examine them clinically there's not much signs involved in this okay there can be little swelling of the knee joint a little effusion that is fluid collection in the knee joint okay movements are pretty much normal only terminally they can be a little bit restricted because of the pain otherwise they're pretty much normal so how do you diagnose this it's mostly a clinical diagnosis and when you're not satisfied with your clinical diagnosis you want to rule out other injuries that time you go for a mri scan so what does the mri show mri can show depending on the stage of chondromalacia patella that from the beginning stage there can be only a mild swelling of the cartilage to a full-blown full thickness defect in the cartilage so what's the treatment for this chondromalacia patella so treatment is pretty straightforward and mostly conservative in most of them it works well where they give a period of rest Okay. Since this is a uh, knee joint is a high intensity, high velocity involved joint where there's a lot of wear and tear in happening constantly as you're walking and you're running and all that. So you give a rest. Rest means it's not bed rest, it's just rest. You restrict your sporting activities. You don't squat, you don't do stair climbing or you don't uh, uh, sit cross leg down. Okay. So you do your routine activities and that should be okay. You give a period of about three to six weeks of rest. Apart from rest, what else can you do from your side? You can take a course of anti-inflammatory drugs which whatever swelling is there it's going to come down apart from that we advise physiotherapy so a physiotherapy is specifically designed to increase the strength of the muscles around the knee joint mainly the quadriceps muscles where specifically one muscle this which is called vastus medialis obliquus so the what we call it vmo exercises that really helps in a long run to get it in control in case this conservative treatment doesn't work, so the last treatment strategy is a small keyhole surgery for the knee joint. So what we do is arthroscopic surgery. So we visual visualize the entire cartilage and see the extent of damage depending on that. So we have to just debride that flaky uh, tissue which has come out. And in case do some reparative work is required, it will be taken care depending on the amount of damage. Anyways, that surgery is the last option for us and most of it will be taken care of with conservative treatment. So that takes care of chondromalacia patella. For further information, you can contact me at Department of Orthopedics in Astra Avia Hospital in JP Nagar, Bangalore.